Oh, hey babe, are you coming to sleep? I'm just on the PC, but let me hop off the game and do a quick bit of browsing. Uh, good night gang. Yeah, my boyfriend's here, so I'm gonna go show him how lucky he is to have a gremlin like me. <laughs> GG, well played, see you later. I'll be nice and quiet, I promise. Did you have a good day, Lee? You been working hard or hardly working? <laughs> you know, a lot of game news has happened recently. Want me to ramble away to ya? You're my sweet little pumpkin pie, you know that? <laughs> Here, let me hop into the bed next to you. Mm -hmm. You tired? Your little eyes are saying you should have gone to bed an hour earlier. <laughs> what were you doing? Goofing off? Mm -hmm. Well, doesn't that like just sum it up? Let me play with your hair. Mm, you know about that new World of Warcraft expansion? The Shadowlands one? Mm, yeah. There's never been such a delay with releasing the second half before, and a lot of people aren't happy with the updates after waiting for so long. <laughs> you know how it was pointlessly grindy and awful and terrible. Well, now they've introduced another system into the game that nobody asked for, which means you have to go and do all that boring grinding again for a different legendary gear piece. And the new system is only gonna last for a couple of patches because they replaced it with another one nobody asked for to go do more stupid grinding. Honestly... I'm thinking about just canceling my subscription at this point and playing Final Fantasy instead. Mm. Speaking of unhappy gamers, remember when Fallout 76 came out and you get that really weird duffel bag for sale and the whiskey? Oh come on, you have to remember what a letdown that was. They showed this gorgeous Nuka Cola shaped bottle that would house the whiskey inside, but when the product came out, it was like a weird plastic jacket coat thing. It was so delayed as well, and that's not all that Bethesda messed up. They promised those duffel bags would be like high quality in the promo pictures, you could tell it was the good stuff. Then when it came out, it was like super light and easy to rip, cheap, and the servers, or oh, the servers on the game were something else when it was launch week. Buggy, booted offline at random, and all that jazz. That's the problem if you produce a game that's for online only. That's why I stand a game that lets you have an offline mode. Single player mode and all that crap. That's why The Witcher blew everyone away. Not that every game company should be put on a pedestal for doing what the people actually want, but how put your money where your mouth is and support those that do the right thing. Hmm. What else can I ramble aimlessly to you about? Oh, Papa Jack. You remember him, right? The lead designer for Overwatch? The whole situation leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Not like Mango Loco, though. Maybe original. Original monster energy drink is a bit yucky. There's just too much speculation out there and not enough confirmation, but I feel like everyone has forgotten about it already. Papa Jeff has been there working on Overwatch from the beginning, and all of a sudden, before Overwatch 2 is released, he's happy to kiss the team goodbye? Come on, something big happened that they weren't happy about. I think it's a battle pass. Remember how hard he was fighting for Overwatch 2 to be free? 
Maybe he wasn't talking about the base game, but rather the multiplayer experience. You have to agree with me here. Obviously, you have to scribble an NDA and can't even tell us why. So frustrating. Papa Jeff always looked out for us and what fun it was to remember the Overwatch League streams and people would have cardboard cutouts of his face. <sighs> How I mourn him. Unfortunately, there's no Skyrim news either. Well, bar it coming out on every single possible games console or device. You think they'd figure it out for mobile by now, then all of a sudden we're <laughs> reviving the Game Boy Advance. God, I love my little advance. Such a cute little thing. Pokemon Leaf Green didn't know what hit it. Must have put thousands of hours into that game. You know, technically there's an infinite money bug in the game. It wasn't intended, but it's more of an oversight from the developers. You know, right at the start of the game where you beat all the trainers on Nugget Bridge, then the Team Rocket Grunt in disguise gives you a nugget and battles you? If you purposely lose that battle, you can keep throwing yourself at them over and over again, picking up a nugget each and every time. <laughs> you wanna know a secret? The first ever recorded video game Easter egg is in the game Adventure. <laughs> Programmed by Warren Robinette in 1979 while working for Atari. To get to the Easter egg, the player has to find the gray dot, but after finding the dot, you have to take the dot and use it to get through a sidewall, below and to the right of the yellow castle. And then you got into the secret room, which had his signature on it, created by Warren Robinette. He said he only did it because the company did not credit programmers in the game's packaging or materials. Robinette said that this influenced his decision to make the easter egg. Uh, I'll try to quote, but something along the lines of, Yes, this was part of the motivation to put my signature into the game. Little did he know, he'd make gaming history. Hmm, let's see how many easter eggs I can name off the top of my head. Mm, it was an adventurer with an injured knee in Doom, with a helm of bones on top of his head. Bingo. Skyrim reference. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. In The Witcher 2, you come across a man dead near a stack of hay bales. It's a reference to Altair from Assassin's Creed 1. Jumping from high heights into hay might not be the softest landing around. In Bioshock 2, you can see a plane wreckage that has sunken in the bottom of Rapture. In Bioshock 1, you find the place because your plane crashed. That's right, continuity. <laughs> Black Ops 1, if you get out of your chair on the tide, screen, you can play sword on the monitor near you. Then in Black Ops 2, if you load up Nicktown and shoot all the mannequins' heads off in 90 seconds and head to the population counter, you can chill out with a game of Atari 2600 game. Mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto 4, if you ignore the no hidden content this way sign and scurry up the stairs at the base of the Statue of Happiness, you'll literally find the heart of the city, a gigantic red beating heart. Okay, baby, I'm not really sleepy yet, so I'm gonna slip on the PC. Don't worry though, I'll be quiet. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Mm-hmm. <laughs>